Hi, this is Rochelle at Scrapcraftastic, and today I'm going to test out my new tear guides for the first time, and I thought I'd come on and share the process with you. I also have the water pen, which is here. I already put the water in it in case I need that. I did not read the instructions, but I have watched Liz from Liz for a day use hers. So I think I have a pretty good idea how it works. So I have the craft card stock, which seems to be a little heavier to me than the uh, other colored card stocks for some reason. I don't know. It's, it seems more like cardboard than the other ones do. And then I have a couple of pieces of just some 20 pound paper. I got the pink paper so that it would show up better, hopefully. And then I also have a pack of this, the Paper Studio parchment cardstock. So it kind of looks like parchment paper, but it's cardstock. And I've had this for a quite a while. And actually, I've forgotten about it. So that's what that looks like. It's not. I wouldn't say it's really thick like cardstock though. But I'm going to take one of these out and try that. So let's start with what I know is pretty easy first. So these are the tear guide patterns I guess. So this one is really jagged. This one is a little more subtle. This one's a small wave, a large wave. This one's a small zigzag and a large zigzag. Um, I'm pretty sure this one will probably get the most use by me. But let's start out with this one, the large zigzag, and see how it goes. I'm not sure why there is a space in the center. I did keep the directions. So, let's see. Place tool on the top of the paper. Press tool firmly. Oh, let me put read the whole thing. Place the tool on the paper, making sure the beveled edge is facing up. Okay. Press the tool firmly against the paper at the top and bottom. Pull the paper toward you at a 45 degree angle. Then it says, I thought I had more instructions on here than it does. But then it says, for harder to tear paper, such as vellum or handmade paper, use the water pen to easily moisten the paper before tearing. Lightly run the water pen along the edge of the tool where it meets the paper. Okay, so that's all the instructions we get. So the beveled edge is up, and I'm going to hold firmly. And that seemed to tear pretty cleanly. <laughs> uh, or a tear. Let's try the other side. Maybe I need to give myself a little more grip space. That one is not as nice as the big one. But again, it could be user error. Let me try this way. That one's okay. Let's try the big zigzag. Okay. Yeah. Let's try this one. Okay, this one is a little hard. And then the other side. This is by far the easiest one. And I like that the best. It's more realistic. <laughs> okay. So we did it with the paper. Let's try the parchment cardstock. 
I guess I don't need this extra sheet. Let's start with this again. It's like where I pause, it doesn't really tear that good. So I probably need to not pause, but it's just that I have to get a better grip on the paper. Oh, beveled edge down. Let's start with this side then. I mean beveled edge up. See, that didn't work well. I need the pause to get a, a grip on the paper. Okay, so there we did the big zigzag we did. Let's do this one. So we did the little zigzag, the big zigzag, little scallop, the big scallop. Okay. And am I doing this one again? most natural tear I see where this could be useful too nice this is very nice I'll probably want to tear that off okay last but not least let's try them with the craft Try this one again. I think this one would be really nice in like a mermaid journal for waves. <laughs> It'd be cool. Okay, let's do the zigzag. Probably should have wet it and tried it wet. Let's just do one one that's wet. Since this is a heavier paper. I'm not even sure that the war, yeah, it's coming out. Okay, doesn't seem to be making it any easier, actually. Probably didn't put enough water. It actually made it tear in a weird way. So we won't be doing that probably without a little more practice. So I did the zigzag, zigzag small, scallop small, scallop big. Let's do the jagged edge. Big. Ooh, it's so hard. Oof. That's difficult. I can see where that would be useful. And then let's do this. up that 
but that's what the edge would look like so for what I need it for which is my journals I think this is a great tool I'll definitely be using this one the most either this side or this side but it works really nice and if you want to have a nice organic torn edge it's a great tool um, if you're interested in these I will leave a link in the description box below and yep that's it for now if you have any questions or comments please leave them below thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later bye